Welcome to Gel Printing July. So today I uh, want to try to keep it simple and playful and um, I think I want to play a bit with the placement of my stencil but I'm not even sure about that. So I do want to use one of my favorite colors. Uh, I've used this many times before. This is Purple Matter Acrylic, Matte Acrylic from Blick. And maybe I want to add a little bit of this. This I mixed this myself. I will put a link in the description uh, with the paints that I used for this. But this is all Amsterdam acrylics. And this as well. Uh, this is also self-mixed paint, also Amsterdam Acrylics. It's a darker paint, kind of a violet. But I want to use this as my main, and maybe I'm going to play with a bit of <laughs> water as well. So, let's see. And yeah, I want to use this as, as my main color and then just add a few of those randomly or maybe also some white I'm thinking now <sighs> did I say I wanted to keep this simple <laughs> now before this dry I want to add these hints of other colors so they mix in but I don't want to contaminate my paint, I'm thinking now. So I should have done that differently. I think I should have taken a palette, but hey, sometimes you do before you think. So maybe I don't really have a lot of time to add that darker paint. So I'll leave that out. To be honest, I don't even know if this will show up even. Let's see. So this is the stencil that I want to use. And this is a stencil that I made myself. But it is quite big for this. <laughs> because I was thinking to use part at this side and part at that side. Well, let's see. Because I do think I'd like to see this little circle here as well. So let me just take my brayer. Remove this. Well, a bit of water is handy anyway, also to keep this paint moist. Maybe I still have some time to to move my stencil also to this side, but I don't really know if I actually like that. Well, yeah, it could be. Ooh, it could be fun. It would have been better if I had rotated my gel plate. But you can see today I'm kind of in a mood that I'm doing before I'm thinking, which is not really typical for me. <laughs> Usually I overthink. I do like these uh, difference in color there, actually. So that was a good idea. Now, let's see. Let me add a bit more water here as well. So I think my stencil here shifted because I, <laughs> I didn't think before I placed it down. So this will be not a very crisp image, but on the other hand, that could be interesting as well. Also because there's a lot of water. Well, 
looks okay. Let me add a bit of water here as well. I'm actually quite liking this. Okay, so now I need to have a lot of patience because all this water needs to dry. And as you know by now, uh, <laughs> patience is not one of my strong points, but uh, I really have to be sure that this is dry. So I'll help it with my heat gun and then um, I will come back as soon as it is dry and I can uh, transfer this to my paper. Okay, so I think this is dry enough. Let's transfer this to my paper. Because I'm really excited to see how this one turns out. I'm really loving this, what I see here. But let's see how it turns out <laughs> on the final print. I'll let this dry and then uh, I'm going to pull the print. Okay, so uh, let's see how this print turned out. I'm uh, I'm excited to see how it uh, how it looks. Uh, I hope it will come off all the way because uh, I'm not sure, but we'll see. So here it is. Oh, I love how this turned out. Yeah, so I I, I like um, that I was able to play with the with the placement of uh, one stencil. So that is something uh, that I do. Uh, um, yeah, I hope you're inspired to try that out as well. And uh, I I love the water effect as well. How it's breaking open here. So uh, it has a bit of a graphical, uh, how, you say, how do you say that, graphic um, look to it because um, the, the blue is really not, not that visible. It looks more like a dark gray. So it is almost like um, uh, a monochromatic, um, yeah, graphic kind of style. And uh, but yeah, look at all the texture. Um, I really think that, <laughs> that looks awesome. So uh, yeah, I'm happy with uh, today's uh, experiment and practice. I hope you had fun watching it. Uh, if you'd like to know more about gel printing, um, check out my gel printing fundamentals. That's a video series that I made for my patrons. And uh, I'll put a link uh, in the description. And um, yeah, as always, if you'd like to share your work, I'd love to see it in my Facebook group. So uh, feel welcome to, um, to post your work there. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you back tomorrow.